Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. And tonight you have the Rhino, and we're going to drink a beer. Uh, tonight we are drinking this beer right here, which is 5% alcohol by volume. I just added it to Untapped today. I had to guess the type of wheat because uh, what I thought it would probably be wasn't a beer style that's available on Untapped. Anyway, what we are drinking is a Niagara College Teaching Brewery Certified Original, so a student's project beer. This is Asuka's Wheat. So let us drink Asuka's Wheat and uh, hope for the best. Um, I think we're at a about an average of 65, 65 passes to 35 fails for us when we uh, drink a Niagara College beer. Not saying the fails aren't good beers, they're just not our beers. And yes, sometimes we rag on the beer and we make fun of the beer. You know what? That's what we do. I'm trying to help you get ready for criticism. And we like to make jokes when we're together drinking. Anyway, let's try this beer, right? Let's pop her open. Uh, let's throw this over here. Now, in all honesty, I'm going to tell you right now after popping it, I didn't weiss roll it. Let's just look in it for a second. Ooh, I should have looked through the bottle before I said what I thought it was, because now I know what it would probably be classified as, which, um... I would have to assume, and I know I'm assuming, which may, could make an ass of me and you, but I am assuming this was meant to be a Crystal Weizen. I have to, I have to assume it was meant to be a Crystal Wheat. It's filtered, it's see-through. Uh, it's, it's just golden see-through. <sighs> Not that that's a bad thing, I just huff because what I want to see is I want to see clouds, I want to see sea monkeys, I want to see uh, whole colonies of shit in my beer. I don't get to see any of that, but that's okay. Hmm. Not much of a smell, in all honesty. There's almost nothing to it. Um, out of the bottle, it kind of comes off with that, uh... That funk that the uh, Niagara College first draft ale comes off with. Again, the ale is a, is a nice ale, but it comes off with a weird funky smell, which I'm pretty sure is the yeast they're using. I'm not 100% sure because I don't know what yeast they're using. But this has a smell out of the bottle reminiscent of that, which would make me hazard a guess that maybe he's using the same wheat, he or she, I should say, is using the same yeast. Uh, not necessarily true. Could just be one of the malts they use. Could be anything. I mean, uh, whatever. Let's drink it. You know what? It doesn't. It doesn't have much of a smell except for that weird funky smell. So let's just drink it. Cheers. There's really nothing to it. Um, it's not a bad beer. There's nothing offensive about it, which is what would make a beer a bad beer. Nothing offensive about it at all. Um, it still reminds me quite a lot of the uh, first draft ale. It reminds me a lot of that. It has a breadiness to it. It has a biscuitiness to it. Uh, it has a slight touch of funk to it. No hop presence, really. No, uh, no normal wheat presence that you could really think of. You, you could say there's a banana flavor in there, but it's more like a candied banana, not not the banana you would get from a uh, from a Belgian strand of yeast. Uh, 
there's not there there is a grainy cereal grain like taste to it i i wouldn't know if i'd say it's wheat per se but uh there is a cereal grain like taste to it It's just very easy drinking. It's very light bodied mostly because of being filtered. It's uh, easy drinking. There's nothing offensive about it. There's no offensive smell. There's no there's no smell at all really. There's uh, no offensive taste but again there's not much of a taste at all either. Uh, again really reminiscent to me of the first draft ale. If you like the first draft ale you would probably love this. Uh, it, was it an April Fool's joke where they put first draft ale in the bottle? No. Um, it, it does differentiate a, a lot from First Draft Ale, but it reminds me so much of First Draft Ale. I, uh, I can't personally give it a great mark, and I can't give it a bad mark. Um, this is a meh beer. It's there. It's a beer. It's 5% alcohol. It'll get you drunk. It does its job. Uh, meh, meh, um, in all honesty, uh, give it a little higher than meh, I'll give it a, I'll give it a 575 because it just reminds me so much of the draft ale that I can't say it's a bad beer at all and I, because I enjoy the draft ale, um, it's just, not what I'm personally looking for at all if I'm going for a wheat beer. Again, it's it's a well-made beer. There's nothing offensive about it. It's just, when I read wheat, even if it's an American wheat ale, I still expect a little bit more flavor than what that's coming off with. Uh, again, not a bad beer. Uh, if, if it just said Asuka's ale, I would probably be all on it. I would probably even give it a 7.5. But Asuka's wheat... Uh, I'm sorry, Asuka. It's... It's not my thing for a wheat beer. Again, I, if I'm looking for a wheat beer, I'm looking for something that has a different flavor than what this has. Again, it's not saying that you did a bad job, because you didn't. It's There's nothing offensive about it. It's a passable beer. It's just not for me. It's not for me at all. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, I guess it's chug time, eh? Asuka, does your beer chug? Actually, is probably the easiest chugging wheat beer I've ever had. Kudos to you for that. Six out of ten. Bye.